When observing the ideal trunk extension stereotype from above, you can observe that the lateral abdominal wall is straight on both sides, as if connecting the lower ribs with the pelvis. There is appropriate activity of the spine extensors, which can be observed and palpated. The shoulder blades remain in the neutral position connecting to the chest, while not moving into adduction, elevation or external rotation. If the core stabilisation is insufficient, the curve of the spinal extension is not smooth and the pelvis tilts anteriorly. The trunk remains on the mat while extension occurs mainly in the cervical and lumbar spine. The paraspinal lumbar muscles are overactive. The activity of the lateral abdominal muscles is minimal, resulting in the convex bulging of the lower portion of the abdominal wall bilaterally. The area of the transversus abdominis aponeurosis becomes concave. A frequent clinical sign of abnormal extension pattern is excessive activity of the hamstring muscles. This may sometimes be associated with hyperactivity of the triceps surae. In addition, you may see insufficient coactivation between deep neck flexors and extensors, hypertonus of the upper scapula fixators, neck hyperextension and decentration of the shoulder girdle.